Hey everybody, Dev really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Nor 9 Bar Commons. We are still going through the short stories in the extras of the Nor 9 store, and today we are doing Sakuya's short story. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. I close my eyes as I sit on my bed inside a room all by myself. But what springs to mind as I sit here are the words that Sakuya spoke. Uh-oh. Now this is a problem. Hearing you say that to me is almost making me want to live. Maybe I'll give this whole fighting back thing a try. I am so glad. Sakuya is optimistic about the future now. This is an amazing change for him. I cannot believe that he would actually say such a thing. I will definitely change Sakuya's future. That way, I will never worry about losing him. I can stay with Sakuya forever. Forever? Once I gave voice to those thoughts, they strangely started to feel more concrete. If I want to stick with Sakuya, then that must mean I will have to work harder than I ever have before. So that I can avoid having embarrassing moments even when I am with him. I need to become a lady who is equal in elegance and grace with Sakuya. That's impossible. Sakuya is so graceful and delicate, you just, you just can't, Mikoto. But there is a lot I must practice in order to accomplish that. Even now, I can somehow manage housework thanks to Akito teaching me how to cook a bit and living without maids on board the ship. However, I am well aware that I cannot be satisfied with just this. What should I do in order to improve? Oh yeah. Mikoto, are you there? S sakuya w What do I do? I would prefer Sakuya did not know this. Hmm, that's odd. I guess she isn't here. Why is she avoiding him? She was just thinking. I am sorry, Sakuya. I am certain there will be some books about housework in here. Alright, time to start looking. What are you looking for? K Koharu? I'm organizing the bookshelves right now, so I can help you if you like. Masamune, too. The library was busy servicing other patrons, namely Koharu and Masamune, who were in front of me with several books in tow. Organizing books? Wait, are you two even paired up? No, I was the one who's been here organizing the books. Koharu's partnered up with Kakeru. Then what in the- then where in the world is Kakeru? How could he just leave his partner alone like this? What? It's not like that. I was tending the fields with Yuika, but he told me I could go ahead and leave early since he was almost done. But on the way back, I saw Mr. Masamune here, so I decided to assist him. I'm sorry. I didn't know that Kakeru told you to go and rest up. No, it's fine. Please don't mind. Aren't you paired up with Sakuya? Why isn't he with you? We decided to do our own thing today. I have been busy lately. You are here looking for someone, huh? Hmm, I just wanted to look something up. I see. If you're having any problems finding it, let me know so I can help you. Thank you, but I should be fine. I have a rough idea of where it might be. I do not want to appear like I am desperately searching for a book on housework. I would rather not have them find out. You're so studious, Mikoto. N not at all. Are you sure? You put your all into everything that you do, so I always try and follow your example. Stunned by Koharu's sudden praise, I find myself embarrassed into a loss of words. W what topic to bring up? Oh yeah. There is something I would like to ask you two. What is it? In your minds, the ideal woman should be able to cook, right? Hmm? Why would you ask that all of a sudden? just curious. So, so what is your answer? Well, it is better that she's able to, but 
even if she isn't very good at it. I feel like I would be happy if she tried hard at it. Tried hard? So then, you would even eat Heishi's cooking, which is chock full of sugar, as long as he cooked it wholeheartedly. Th that's It seems to me that you would much rather prefer the cooking to be delicious, too. <laughs> Poor Masamune, they just, they never he can never get a good argument out. Ever. They always frustrate him. Uh, I'm still learning how to cook, but I hope to be able to cook delicious food that puts smiles on everyone's faces. The way that Mr. Akito's cooking does. Kohoru. I agree. I think a lady should definitely know how to cook well. Uh, I don't quite understand what's going on, but is that the answer you were looking for? Yes, thank you both. I see. Well, I'm done organizing this area, so I'm going to head out. Me too, then. I think Yuika should be returning from the field. Please excuse me, Mikoto. I see Kohoru and Masamune off, and then face the bookshelf. Alright, time to find a book on housework. This one, and this one. Oh, that one too. I was able to find everything I needed in one corner of the bookshelf. There are numerous cookbooks, and then there were multiple books written about housework, in general, covering numerous topics. I keep grabbing the books one after another. Hmm. There was something I noticed as I did this. There are also many books about handicrafts around here. Yes, books are sorted into different groups in the library. Is she going to think that crafts are part of housework? Which means the handicrafts also fall into the same category as housework. No! Therefore, does that mean that handicrafts are also something that a lady should be able to do. I pick up a book from the shelf and ponder. I have never done any handicrafts before, but I wonder if Sakuya would be delighted if I learned how to make clothing. You made this shirt. That's amazing, Mikoto. Oh no, I can just imagine how this is gonna turn out. It's gonna be like her art. Her clothes are gonna be like her drawings. It's gonna be bad. You put all your heart into this, right? Thanks. I'm super happy. I'll take great care of it and wear it all the time. He probably would too, no matter what it looked like. Sadly. Okay, I will do it. As I kept the image of Sakuya's smile in my mind, I chose a beginner's handicraft book and placed it on the table beside me. What else? Oh, how about flowers? Being knowledgeable about flowers seems like it's pretty ladylike, too. You're never going to be able to read all these books. Wow, where'd you get this flower on the dining table? It's really pretty. Whoa, you took care of it, too? It's amazing that you were able to nurture it into such a beautiful plant. The color is so vibrant. You really are so proper and ladylike, Mikoto. I feel proud that I have someone like you with me. Yep, this is necessary too. I nodded and stacked another book onto the pile. I checked out a large number of books. I headed towards my room while carrying a mountain of books in both arms. I do feel like I have borrowed too many books, but I also felt that these books were all necessary for me to become a true lady. Whoa, Mikoto. I stop as he called for me from behind. S Sakuya! Such bad timing. I finally found you. I have been looking for you everywhere. Wait, what's with all the books? Did you borrow all of these from the library? Y yes, that is correct. As I responded, I discreetly changed the direction I was facing so the spine of the books was out of Sakuya's view. I am certain he would ask me the reason I was borrowing these particular books if he saw the titles on them. It would be embarrassing if he found out that I had so much to learn to become a lady. You should have borrowed just a few, rather than borrowing them all at once. 
Th that is none of your concern. I was just compelled to do a lot of reading, okay? Well then, I'll help you carry them. Do I just take these to your room? <laughs> Sakuya reached out his hand towards the books, so I panicked and dodged his attempt to aid me. Mikoto. Uh, I can handle all of these on my own, so you need not worry. But... I will be fine, so you may leave me alone. Uh, um... I sped off, desperately clutching all the books, so they would not scatter all over the floor. <sighs> the moment I return to my room, I recollect my breath. What do I do? Sakuya probably thinks I am weird now. After I sigh internally, regret begins to well up in my heart. However, there is no point in worrying. I must apologize to Sakuya later. I wonder if I was successful in preventing Sakuya from seeing the books. Though I stayed slightly worried, I finally set down the books that I had been holding. Everything is for Sakuya. I need to work hard. Out of the numerous books I had checked out, I choose one that seems to be the most useful. Hmm, Filth Be Gone. Tested cleaning secrets. It looks like a book about cleaning. Filth Be Gone. <laughs> One sentence caught my eye as I flipped through the pages. The squalor in your room also weighs upon your heart. Whenever you feel depressed or are concerned about something, try cleaning your room in order to clean your soul and feel refreshed. Hmm, is that how it goes? Apparently, cleaning has more effects other than maintaining cleanliness. Impressed, I continued reading the book. The entire day. And all night. Hmm. Morning already. My body feels heavy. In the end, I ended up staying up all night yesterday, reading through all the books. Usually, I would never do something so rash. However, thinking about Sakuya got me unintentionally caught up in all the reading. But this is so I can be a suitable lady for Sakuya. Staying up at night is acceptable so long as I am able to prepare a proper breakfast. As I repeat this to myself, I stroke the cover of the book I just read. This handicraft book was easy to understand. If I just follow the instructions, I should be able to make scarfs or gloves. What is Sakuya's favorite color? I do not even know that. She should. He's been her best friend their whole lives. How could she not know that? It would be easy to ask him his favorite color. However, I felt that it would be pretty good if I chose a color that I thought would suit him. Well, I guess I can start thinking about all that once landing is confirmed. Oh, crap! I had promised Akito that I would learn how to cook from him this morning. I need to hurry on over to the kitchen. You're late. Akito said as he glanced over when I darted into the kitchen. It appears that preparations for breakfast had started already. Akito held a deep pan. Um, I was reading a book until really late, and... I reflexively stopped myself from giving an excuse for my tardiness. Whatever the reason, late is still late. The fact that I overslept because I was embroiled in my reading has nothing to do with Akito. So, what is it? No, it's nothing. I apologize for being late. You're oddly compliant today. Fine then, let's get to it. Without inquiring any further, Akito began filling the deep pan with water. I stood next to him and picked up a vegetable from a basket. Are you sewing these vegetables? No, I don't stew things in the morning. It takes a while for the flavors to soak through. If you want stewed in the morning, you need to have it prepared the night before. Hmm, I see. I had no idea. Damn, you don't even know this? H how would I? I've never really cooked until I got on board the ship. Hmm, <laughs> aren't you all off? <laughs> well, that's why you're trying to learn, right? I'm not gonna go easy on you, you know. F fine Okay, we're gonna use those vegetables for the salad. You go peel them over there. Salad at breakfast? I soon started assisting Akito as he gave me orders. 
I picked out the radish from all the vegetables and started peeling the skin. I feel like I have improved immensely compared to before. Back when I first started, Akito was shocked at the thickness of the skins I peeled off. Hmm. You're actually keeping the peel together now. Uh, am I really? I thought you were hopeless when I first saw you peel the skins off. You just hacked off a bunch of disconnected peels, and they were so thick that I couldn't tell which part was the peel and which part you were keeping. I was not that bad at it. You wish. Stop staring and start moving your hands. Akito stopped the conversation and faced the pan. Just from watching him remove the broth, I could tell that he was really skilled at cooking. Although he's not at Akito's level, Sakuya has really improved his cooking skills since he got here as well. Thinking back at the time Sakuya used to be on meal duty made me feel a bit inferior. He and I were similarly skilled back then, but Sakuya is just too dexterous. Even when it comes to peeling skin, he is much faster than I am, and he does it so cleanly. Hey. And what is it? Is there any secret method I can use to peel skins faster? And there is no such thing. The best way to get faster is to do a ton of them and get used to it. Yeah, but if there are any tips at all... What the... S-Sakuya! Suddenly, Sakuya poked his head out from the kitchen entrance. Mikoto, do we have cooking duty today? Huh? Uh, um, this is... Sakuya must not know that I'm learning how to cook from Akito. Today's shift should be Akito's team, if I am not mistaken. Yeah, that's right. Where are the other three of your team? Nobody on my team besides me can cook. All Shionoi and Otomoru do is interfere with my cooking. That's why I have constantly banned them from the kitchen. As for Morbushi, he doesn't help out at all, let alone come to the kitchen. I, I see. It sounds like you have quite a hard time. Huh? How do I get out of this? Oh, let me guess. That's why you're helping out Akito. Huh? Or am I wrong? Oh, y yes, that is it. Akito seemed quite lonely cooking by himself, so I figured I would help him out. I hope you are grateful, Akito. Oh, uh, well, you're the one who told me to... T Akito, come! W what I called over Akito from an area distance from Sakuya. Play along with my story for now. W why would I do that? At least say please. Oh, I wonder. Maybe because the Hyokos might be waiting at your front door every morning. W what did you say? Kuga. Your day will be off to a great start if you have a Hyoko greet you every morning. <laughs> Oh, you are cruel, Mikoto. <laughs> or you could just go along with my story instead. Got it? Oh, what's wrong with you two? Oh, nothing is wrong. The miso soup is almost done, so I wanted to have Akito check on it. Right, Akito? Mm, yeah. You are really helping him out here. That's admirable of you, Mikoto. Uh, <laughs> Besides, I'm sure you'll naturally get better at cooking as you help out Akito. How, how keen of him! Perhaps she's hoping to cook something up for a certain someone. What? Hey, Akito! For a certain someone? Uh, no! That is not what I... Akito, you were supposed to go along with my story! <laughs> Who cares? Oh, you're gonna wake up to a, to a Hyoko every morning now, buddy. What? What did you just say? Mikoto. What? Are you trying to improve your cooking for someone else? Uh, how should I answer this? Um... 
Well, I'm not going to say it is not for Sakuya because that would just be mean. So I'm going to say it's not for anyone. It is not for anyone. Getting better at cooking is just for my own personal edification. For yourself, huh? <laughs> That's quite admirable of you. Whatever I start, I will see all the way through. You can count on that. So, it is not something that you need to praise me for every single time. That was quite charmless of me, if I do say so myself. After speaking those words, regret fills my head. Out of guilt, I peek over to check up on Sakuya, but he just works his usual smile. Yep, that's what I figured. I apologize. However, I like to praise you for any good thing, no matter how trivial it might be. I truly admire how you consider hard work such a natural thing. Uh, admire? Hey. Huh? Less conversation and more cooking. You're slowing down breakfast time here. Ah, oh, you are right. Then maybe I'll help too, although I probably can't do too much. What? Sakuya? Sure, I can actually trust you, unlike Shirinoi and those guys. I'll help with anything. Oh, what do you need me to do, Akito? Can you chop the vegetables that Kuga peeled? They'll all be used for the salad, shred the daikon, but leave them thick enough so that they still provide texture. Got it. Is she being left out now? How did this happen? Sakuya is better than me at everything, even handling knives. Although I have been learning how to cook from Akito, my skills are still not up to par. I did not want him to see my inadequacy. He might think, is this all that she has improved? I know in my mind that Sakuya would not think like that, but that does not mean that I am satisfied with it. Plus, he is cutting the vegetables I peeled. And that means he is really going to see the results of my work. I am getting nervous. Mikoto, could you start passing me the ones that you've already peeled? Uh, sure. The jaunty sound of the knife hitting the cutting board resonates through the kitchen. All the vegetables Sakuya chopped were cut in equally sized and clean shapes. You are actually pretty good, Sakuya. Really now, I am nothing compared to you, Akito. No, it seems like I can depend on you to do the job and not worry about it at all. To think Akito would praise someone so much. I need to work harder. As I peel the carrots, I used my peripheral vision to watch Sakuya's hands. I am sure Sakuya has things he must learn too. And it was at that moment while I was watching Sakuya's hands, she cuts herself. Uh, ouch! Mikoto. Due to my inattentiveness, the knife momentarily slipped out of my hand and sliced the tip of my finger. A very small amount of blood oozed out of my finger. You cut yourself. Let me see. This is nothing. Just let me have a look. What? You hurt yourself? Just a scratch. It is barely bleeding. But even tiny wounds can become infected. You are exaggerating. I will be fine, really. But... Kuga, just go have it treated just in case. At this rate, Sakuya would just be constantly worrying about my wound. Fine, I will go and have a Hyoko check on it just in case. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sorry, Sakuya, but I need you to take over for me. Sakuya nodded in relief as he looked over at the vegetable basket I pointed out. Huh? I let out a sigh as I looked at my wound. Just as I was thinking how much harder I needed to work, this happens. And I made Sakuya worried about me when I got hurt off my own lack of attention. Come on, get it together, me! I scolded myself and got myself psyched. Anyway, first I need to get this treated. I should get this treated quickly so I can return to the kitchen and ease Sakuya's concern. I walked towards the Hyoko area with that determination. 
Okay, and there we're gonna have to end this video and put in a manual break and make his, you know, we're gonna have to split Sakuya's video into two parts because his story, like Natsuiko's, is way too long to make one episode. So we'll continue his tomorrow. Hope to see you there or in some of my future videos. I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to share some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.